What's up guys, welcome back to another FIFA 21 video, but more specifically a footmas guide video. Now this is the third one I'm doing, this video is going to be purely on investments, I'm going to tell you guys what to invest in, what type of cards to invest in, and I'm not going to waffle about it, literally I'm going to show you guys in as quick time as possible pretty much, uh, what to invest in, why to invest into it, and how it links into the footmas promo. But before we go any further, if it does help you out, please do leave a thumbs up like normal, and drop a sub if you haven't already, and again feel free to... Uh, for my socials or put a lot more on the Instagram at the moment. Uh, but the first one we're going to talk about is inform cards. Now, obviously with Footmates, they drop daily player SPCs, uh, normally either two of them or three of them. So again, if you're getting two or three daily player SPCs for like 12 days straight, there's going to be a high demand on a lot of fodder cards. And one of the requirements EA normally put in is either a Foot Champions red card or an inform card. Uh, so this basically causes, obviously, the supply of inform from the market to go down as people are buying them to complete the SBC and then, therefore, submitting them. So what you're going to see over the Footmas promo is a lot less informs uh, supply in the market and, obviously, there's a more demand for them. So, obviously, the price is going to go up. Now, currently, I think high-rated informs, Pacheco is, like, one of them. Again, I'm not going to tell you, I've not got a list of players to do, but Pacheco is one of them. I think it's 86 cards, about 30k, uh, which in my opinion is quite high, I'd say. Uh, not really looked too much on the market, but yeah, that, the 84 for 30k. Uh, I think the 86 about 33 probably. Yeah, there's an 86 one there for 31k. So essentially, one of the things that will go up is informs. However, it's hard to say whether discard informs or high rated informs are going to be the one. In my opinion, discard informs are going to be the one to pick up. Uh, again, if you're picking discard informs up, you're pretty much paying, uh, it's literally in the name, discard informs. Uh, gold team week cards right now, you can get them bang on discard. This guy, this guy right here, 10,000 coins. If you pick him up for 10,000 coins and he doesn't increase in price or you don't submit him into an SPC, you can literally quit selling for 10,000 coins. Uh, the only thing I'd say about investing in discard informs is right now the supply is massive. Like. There is so much supply on the market of discard inform informs, it's unreal. So, uh, maybe look to pick 82 rated informs up, or ones from good leagues. So again, if there's like an 82 rated inform from the Liga for like 12,000 coins, then that's the one to go for. Try to not like pick up 77 rated centre-backs uh, from the Denmark League for 10,000 coins, because he's probably not going to go up at all. On Bonnet, he's probably going to be a safe one. Uh, center halves again in terms of like high rated fodder center halves there's not too many of them uh, Ogbon is Italian and plays in the Premier League and goes to about 11,000 coins so in my opinion picking up Ogbon uh, and then holding him till the footmiss player species go out you're probably going to make a fair bit of coins from him next point to focus on is just, it's just purely fodder high rated fodder so again uh, one of the cards which goes up a lot normally is Oblak uh, so let's have a look what he's going for at the moment on the market uh, okay, fair bit. Uh, but again, when you are buying these cards, obviously look at when we're getting supply on the market. So today is Sunday. I'm not sure if this video is going up on Sunday or Monday. But if it's up on Sunday and you're watching this before Squad Battle Rewards, uh, Squad Battle Rewards are a really good time to buy plays. So again, literally, you've got to do it as soon as they come out. So I believe it's at 5 past 12 or 5 past 1 UK time. Go onto the market and then pick up your investment. Snipe as, as quick as possible. Uh, and you do want to buy your investments during squad battle, squad battle rewards time. Again, division rivals as well, when obviously people get packs. Uh, those two are, so Thursdays, Thursday mornings and Sunday nights are the best time to buy because there's more supply in the market. But Oblak is a good one. I think he's quite high at the moment, in my opinion. You can also use the footprint graphs. Uh, but again, players like Parejo, I think he's still relatively high rated. Yeah, Parejo. Uh, this guy last year went a massive amount from the Liga, he's Spanish, he's high rated and he's practically unusable because he's got 50 pace. Uh, but any high rate for the cards, again, if you go into Footbin, you can find the cheapest ones, like you can search for like, the cheapest 85s. But Parejo's one that always goes up. Uh, again, I think Koki last year went up a massive amount, I'm not sure what he is for this FIFA. 85 rated, so he might go up a fair bit. But again, players like Koke, players like uh, Mendy, players like Parejo, players like Oblak, again, the high rated fodder from Gundy's always goes up, again, most of these scores are going to be around 84 rated, uh, so don't go for anything like below 83s, but 83s, 84s and 85s always go up massive amounts, and then Oblak, who's 91 rated, always goes up as well, uh, but to make sure, buy the cards 
when there's no like really good SBCs out, so there's not a high demand for those fodder cards. Uh, and also try and buy and draw during squad battle rewards or division rivals. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully it helped you guys out on you know what to buy, what to invest in, and kind of like why to invest into it. But again, EA normally just put the requirement as like 83 or 84 rated with one in form and like 60, 70 chem. So it's literally as simple as investing in either discard in forms, high rated in forms, or just high rated fodder from good leagues. Uh, and just make sure you buy during squad battle rewards and make sure you buy during division rival rewards. But as soon as they come out you can't be doing it like an hour later it's got to be as soon as that supplier comes onto the market